There we are. Oh, yeah, we're going to be. So we got we got trainer Pyromithra. Um, we were talking about earlier on. We were talking about um, on the car journey over about how there aren't outside of Red there aren't many Pokemon trainers in the Midlands sort of on that higher level. Yeah. We've got like a couple that are up and comers, mm. but like it's not. Weirdly, since the start of the game, you know, trainer has become like more and more rare. Yeah. Yeah, it's like everyone saw like a massive potential with Pokemon Trainer. So it sort of died down a little bit, but then like the people who have stayed Pokemon Trainer have just thrived. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, and I'm interested. Oh my goodness, that was a really good call out by yeah. Red, and that was a good thing from Zanati getting back into Mithra. Mithra has got the frame data to sort of rival Squirtle. Yeah. You do not want to be going Pyro unless you've got pretty much a guarantee mm. kind of punish. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was very surprised that while stuck as uh, Pyro. The Squirtle didn't actually do more while the side B was out. Yeah, oh, and a really good tech on the forward tilt. That's something that we see from Red in pretty much every set I've seen him. He really loves going for those forward tilts, creating those tech chase situations. Yeah. Because your shot's so low by the forward tilt, it's so, so difficult sometimes to get that tech timing. But Zanati's got it on lockdown. Yeah, and Red trying to go for a lot of, uh, a lot of reads there, trying to get with the forward smash, but just missing every single one. But getting Zanati back off stage. And that's going to kill. Oh, Not quite. Oh. Thankfully, Stadium 2's Blast Zone <laughs> saving Red's life there. But that's yeah. just the scary part about an option like that, is that the aggressive up B from Pyra can kill so, so early. You were nearly dead across the stage at like 70%. Yeah. Yeah, especially with like Squirtle being so light. I mean, we got a little bit of a heavier boy on stage right now. Ivy saw. Uh, we don't have them on stage <laughs> anymore. But a heavier boy has arrived, yeah, that in Charizard. You can see Zanati going straight to the Mithra, knowing that that frame data and that just, to be quite frank, disgusting advantage state. Yeah. Really going to be able to rack up that percent, but the back throw. There we go. And Red is back in his comfort zone. Uh, Red very much preferring the Squirtle to any other uh, Pokemon trainer character. Yes. And well, I mean, in his combos, it shows. I, he gets a lot of these jab blocks, a lot of combos with the uh, the Squirtle, but immediately uh, switching off stage, could not get back. Yeah, I was gonna say Zanati going for quite an aggressive off stage interaction. You gotta be careful, no punish and quite a aggressive option, but Red just respecting it. It can be quite yeah. hard in those situations where instead of maybe going for some kind of riskier option, yeah. you can get that center stage and reset to neutral in a more favorable position. Yeah. And ooh, yeah, and Ivy saw. It's sort of out of the, uh, the well, Pyro is now out of the percentage range where Ivysaur can get something a little bit cheeky, so uh, a little bit more... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, Zanati was very much ready for it. You go for that temptation, you know, the down air into the up smash, but Zanati knowing, okay, I've landed this. But the falling upper, we saw this in the set against the Gala as well, and it's really something that I haven't seen any other trainer go for, but those falling up airs, Really good at intercepting, and it can do like 20%, and just this aggressive <laughs> offstage play from both players. It's absolutely terrifying for both of these players to get off stage at any point, realistically. Yeah. It's like Squirtle, you know, I think I'd, saw, I'd seen the jump already go, and all he's got is this up B, you know, like, I'm not even entirely sure Red's gonna get back, but he does, and he's back as Squirtle again. Yeah, and you can see Zanati just going for a much more defensive approach, but Zanati's got him at the ledge, oh. but missing the punish. Really, really mm. crucial there. That could have been a lot of percent for Red. Yeah, it was fantastic call out with the water gun, just not making the most of it. Maybe sort of uh, putting himself in a little bit of disadvantage, letting Zanati know that water gun is an option that Red can pick later on. Yeah, and you can see the trade there between the water gun and the blazing edge. Unfortunately, not really working out in Red's favor. Really good oh. DI away, but I think he had caught the jump, and that is it. Yeah. So, so unfortunate. I'm not sure if Red was just convinced he still had the jump, or was stuck in, like, end lag. I don't know. Either way, didn't make it back, and now it is... 1-0 to Zanati. Yeah, 1-0 in, I believe it's winner's semi-finals. Yeah, which sadly still means it's a best of three. Yes. I would love to see it be a best of five. However, with when the bar closes, people traveling, it can yeah. it can put the bracket on a little bit too long. I and also, also we've got a Nintendo Direct to watch later on, so we want to get this bracket over, yeah. <laughs> over and done with. And oh my oh goodness, my oh. just about making it back. <laughs> but that could have been a terrifying prospect yeah. for Zanati losing that stock so early. Yeah, I think uh, Water Gun on the neutral B, that could have that could have been terrible. But you know, Red is well, he's tacking on. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage here. And oh my oh. goodness! 
and we were saying earlier on, and I was speaking to Zanati earlier on, and they were saying, oh, I really shouldn't go off stage against Pokemon Trainer, but just picking that perfect moment at a point where Red wasn't expecting it to go off stage and really, really just take that stock by storm. And what started, particularly with Squirtle, as like a fairly easy comeback to make yeah. has now been a really, really uphill climb that Red has now got to face. Yeah, it's sort of like, you know, you can play, you could like, we've seen Red do it, do it already. Goes for these like sort of heavy reads as Squirtle. He's not really got that space to do it anymore. Yes. And ooh, getting caught by the side B, Pyra back on stage. Yeah, and you can see lovely parry, but again, Pyra's moves being so safe yeah. that you can't even get that much of a punish from it. Zanassi just electing to keep this stage control, went for that super aggressive option. Oh, and that's death. Yeah, you're gone in that situation. Yeah. And even if Red had gotten up in shield, a fully charged one of those just breaks a full shield. Mm. It's an absolutely ridiculous move. It's so good as a mix-up in those yeah. situations. And oh, trying to be out of shield, expecting Zanati to hit him, but not doing it. Yeah, thankfully for Red, the ultimate platforms saving his skin a little bit there, going for that quite aggressive side B from the side of the stage, trying to catch that retreat to the ledge with a dash attack, but Red electing to hold in instead. And this is just really difficult, but oh my goodness, how strong is that up there? That's, that's so strong. I'm actually really surprised. I, You know, we saw Red go for quite a lot of neutral airs as Ivy saw, and then just fall through platform up at kill. Yeah, and it's something that we've seen here and there with other players, particularly the more Japanese Pokemon trainers. Oh and my so lord! Unfortunate for Zanassi there, being facing mm. the wrong way in that situation. And what started as borderline three stock yeah. is now becoming a little bit of a scary situation for Zanassi if they want to make an easy 2-0 into winners finals. Yeah, I mean, all Red needs is sort of a, a squirrel combo to get this back to even. Yeah, and you can see Zanati just jumping away from the situation. Mm. Great reaction to the side B and just getting Squirtle Ooh. off stage. Nair from, from ledge there. And yeah. Ivy saw tacking on a little bit of very needed damage for Red right now. Yeah, and you can see Red electing, going for these really good options to get away from the damage, but having to sacrifice stage control yeah. in the Ooh. process. Not quite getting a punish. Yeah. Beautiful directional air dodge away from that grab. That mm. could have been disaster. Ooh, and the switch in between to not get hit by the up air. But the neutral air covering it yeah. instead. Pyra Mithra. And Red is now stuck as Charizard. Yeah, and this is the thing. He's got the kill power, but what he lacks is those neutral tools mm. that are going to really help. Once again, we see another falling up air. And again, Zanassi just electing for this stage control, trying to get that kill with yeah. the up tilt. Beautiful spacing. <gasps> the back air. The is back air. That move. <laughs> Has <laughs> never been okay. It's that move has never been okay. So I know Charizard's got a massive hitbox. I know Charizard is a big boy, gets combo to death. However, that back air is still not all right. Yeah, and it's so, so difficult. And you catch it, even just the tip at the ledge, and then suddenly you're dying at, what, 80%? He died I, there? Yeah, I think so. Ridiculous. Maybe even a little bit less, but... I mean, we're going to be seeing a game three, and what I said earlier, I wanted to see more of this matchup. So I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Zanati has a very, very strong mindset. They're not going to let this affect them too hard. Of course, it can be quite difficult, particularly against a character like Squirtle, where yeah. in these situations, you've got to be just really, really patient and pick your moments wisely because so much of Squirtle's stuff is really, really safe or at least gives the illusion of safety. Yeah. So, and we can see it. You know, maybe the frustration getting a little bit there. And you can see it there with an aggressive down air. Thankfully, Delaying it, but just neutral get up that into the forward smash, and you can just see. Oh. I'm feeling a bit of impatience, Jinch. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely seeing it. Uh, quite luckily for uh, Zanati, that the side be just caught Red as he was about to do something, but it doesn't matter. Red's going to take that stop with the down air and make it back. Yeah, and this is the thing. You can just react in that situation, mm. knowing that he'd either have to switch to Mithra and get some kind of punish, or if he's going to go at that lower once he's away from that ledge, it's just curtains at that point. Yeah, and, and ooh, another side B from uh, from Zanati that put, the so put Red between the sword and Pyra, which is perfect play. Like, that's where Red wants to be in this matchup. Yeah, and that was such a clutch. These clutch switches from both of... from. Fred have been so, so good. Saving him from death multiple, multiple times. Yeah. It's so, so scary. Trying to trying to challenge that side B with the back. I know it's a good move, but the back air is not going to beat the side B. <laughs> yeah, but that excellent stuff, the tried and true down air to up air 
from Pyra gonna yeah. seal the stock. It connects at much later percent that you would expect as well. You're expecting yeah. at 120 that you're gonna be fine, but you're just not. Yeah. Ooh, oh, the beautiful, oh. I, I was pretty sure that that had sent Red a little bit too far away to come back as Ivy saw, but still beautiful sending it out. Yeah, Red knowing the limits of their character and just about managing to get back. You can see now he's got the stage Ooh. controller. Maybe Zanati expecting a retreating Razor Leaf. He's going for these side Bs a lot yeah. to try and catch that Razor Leaf, but it's not quite working out in his favor. And the problem is that when he misses, you can get such a meaty punish. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've not actually seen Red make too big of a punish yet, but the possibility is there, and it could happen. It didn't happen the way around I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, in that kind of situation, mm. his shield was so low that the upbeat just poked instead. Yeah. It's so, so tricky. And if you jump from ledge, and again, another aggressive option. Both of these players yeah. really, really desperate. They know what is at stake here. They know what is on the line. And suddenly, Red, starting from having a really nice lead, has just really let it slip away from him. Yeah. But we saw last game him come back from a potential three stop to taking the game. We know that Red can do this. Yes. It's whether or not he can put himself, well, he can force himself to do it. I don't know whether that was a forward tilt or a down tilt. I think it was a down tilt, but even was. Zanati in the camera there was looking quite shocked. You're not expecting it to kill at that point. Even the game, yeah. no sparks were there. Yeah. And, I mean, Squirtle is what Red wants to be to get this combo, like, get this percentage on right now. But yeah. then again, Red is probably at death percent as Squirtle right now. Yeah, this is the thing. And what you can see Zanati do is you can see him just going. He's not going for anything unless it's truly guaranteed. Yeah. Just going for these opportunities where he can get even just one or two hits. And now that Ivysaur is on the field, he can afford to play that a little bit more aggressive, but maybe not that oh. aggressive. Oh, Zanati denying into the stage. Very nice. Could have DI'd out of stage and probably get hit by the up B. But yeah. Zanati turning that uh, situation around and that is the set. Yeah, really good stuff to Zanati all the way throughout that set. Both of those players having some